Welcome aboard. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, good morning. Uh, welcome to our charter service from Carnarvon to Obden. Al or not Obden, Oben. Anyway, we're going from Wales to Scotland today. And we have some paperwork that we need to do before we can uh, get ready. So let's just go ahead. All right, yep, five passengers. That is correct. Let's uh, see how we're going to load them in there. And our S de destination today is what? E-G-E-O? Yep, that's right. Destination set. Sure, we are a normal flight. Engine instrument. All right, so we're all ready to go. So let's go ahead and hop into the cockpit here. Unpause my track IR. And we'll go ahead and get things ready for our passengers to board. So let's pop to the overhead panel and get our batteries online. Don't believe we have any external power available. No, no external power available. So we'll go ahead and turn on. Uh, I'm not going to try to look down. I'll switch the view. Turn on our lights here. Let's turn on our dome and floodlights on. And we'll go ahead and let the passengers on. All right, we'll go ahead and get our crew oxygen on. Can we peek over at our cabin oxygen? Yes, we can. On, and then auto. And by the way, guys, I am definitely not an expert with this plane. Um, I've used it a couple of times, just like uh, did a few circuits. And I'm not using checklists right now. I'm just kind of going off of memory. So uh, if I miss something or if I don't do something, right uh feel free to tell me whoops virtual cockpit that's not what i wanted i wanted overhead panel i don't have easy dock set up yet i do have track ir obviously but uh not easy dock we'll go ahead and just make sure that no smoking is on we'll get our lamps tested all right everything looked good back to the overhead okay fire fire warning. fire Fire. Fire. Good. Pusher. All right. We're all right with all of our tests. We'll go ahead and test the fuel pumps. All right. So we should be okay to go ahead and start the engine as soon as we have our passengers on board and we get those uh, static elements out of the way. <laughs> See, there I am trying to look at the dock again without doing anything. I guess we can go ahead and, while we're uh, waiting to get everything done, we can go ahead. We will get the avionics online. <laughs> we're going to have a flight time of about an hour today. All right, that's all our passengers on board, so let's get things cleared. Baggage door closed. And passenger door closed. We still have our ground elements there, right? Yep, and let's clear our elements. There we go. And let's go ahead and get the engine started. So that's going to be up here. Need to flip on the beacon light. Starter. Cut into ground idle. Close that window, we're done with it. Excellent, let's cut in the generators. And flip up generators. Seatbelt signs on. Beep. 
and have wing taxi flaps set to 15 good and we're going to want the flight director yaw damper navigation hold go ahead and set that to what's this button yep gps mode hold just gonna let the gps do the steering we're gonna have a cruising altitude today of 11,000 feet there we go go ahead and hide that I think we are good to go. Um, we have a warning, but that was, I believe that was from when the doors were open, and I just never reset that. Um, altimeter should be 299 or 2. We're just flying with a fair weather preset, so. I am not confident in my uh, flight ability yet. I've only, like I said, I don't know, did I say in this take? I've only done. Um, a couple of practice circuits with this plane. And yeah, this is the second time that I've flown this flight. The first time I recorded the whole thing and realized my mic wasn't recording. Go figure. So, uh, did that. And that was also pretty, uh, I'm not too fussed about having to record it because that was not a very good landing. <laughs> not at all. I mean, no one was hurt and the plane wasn't damaged, but I was just not happy with it. So we're gonna give it another try. One second, guys. Sorry about that. I do not understand dogs sometimes. Everyone's home, but he just felt like he wanted to stand at the front door and howl. There he goes again. Alright. Alright, so we're lined up and ready to go. Need to, sorry about that, need to unpause my track IR. We'll get our landing lights and strobes on. No, I should have done this before actually getting on the runway, but whatever. The taxis can come off. Condition levers up to flight idle. We got a caution. What is that? Autopilot disengaged. We'll go ahead and clear that. And let's get going. There we go, nice smooth takeoff. Gear up. Passing uh, 100 knots, so flaps coming up. We are late on fuel today. We only, uh, only took out a half load today. And we'll get some nicer lighting once we get to our... Uh, once the autopilot takes over, I will go ahead and turn off the seatbelt sign and uh, get some more relaxing lighting than just this, uh, this, <laughs> than this flood lighting. Oh, forgot to start our flight timer. 
No, shoot. Ah, wrong button. There we go. <laughs> We're now squawking seven. Hope that's okay with ATC. And once we get to about 7,000 feet, I'll go ahead and let the autopilot take over. Pull back on the throttle now. Sorry, I know you guys can hear my creaky, creaky yoke. <laughs> That's better than an annoying dog, right? I don't know, maybe not. I think I'll go ahead and make this turn before I turn off the seatbelts. If you look at the GPS, we have a turn coming up. those landing lights off because they're on the wheels so they're not showing anyway I think they're on the wheels they might be in the wing I'm not sure That's 8,000 feet. Just want to make this turn and then we'll hand it over to the autopilot. Alright, we'll go ahead and hand it over to the autopilot now, we'll go ahead and get some better lighting going on in here, how's that for the passengers, that's like no lights, what in the world? Oh, you know, it might be because I have this floodlight on. I know there's a nicer option in there. We're back there. Passing 10,000 feet, Captain. Oh, come on. 
track I ours. Doesn't like that, I guess. Central dog. Okay. Why are these two tied? They should not be tied. Oh, there we go. And now, how's that back there? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> track IR is bugging out. Okay, let's just switch to a passenger view. Okay, that is a little bit nicer. It has much nicer up here, so we'll go ahead and check up here. Everything is still good. Okay, so we have gear up and locked. Flaps are up. Cruise power is set. We can go ahead and uh, flip off the seatbelt sign before people start getting uh, cranky. You may now take off your seatbelt. Oh, I forgot to install multi-crew experience. Oh, darn. Oh, well. We can fly on our own with our, uh... We're not really on our own, just our co-pilot's not going to do anything other than talk. Let's take a look at that terrain radar. I just want traffic and weather down here. Okay. All right, so that's us almost at our cruising altitude. And there's 11,000, or 10,990. Come on. There we go. 11,000. So that's our cruising altitude, guys, and I will uh, bring you back when it's time for the approach. So, yeah. See you then. Alright guys, welcome back. As you can see, we've got all of the lights on to make sure everyone is alert for our, uh, for our descent Please here. Please your seatbelt. If they're going to be alert, they might as well have their seatbelts on. So basically what we're going to do, I was going to show you before I close that window. <laughs> um, instead of just flying directly there, we are going to sneak up over here and kind of fly over the water so that way we can get a little bit lower and have a better approach because this uh, terrain here is 
quite a bit higher than our actual, uh, than our airport, if you want to see with the terrain map here. You see our airport's kind of like right on the coast and all this is yellow. So it is uh, quite a bit of a height difference and the, doing this will just uh, make for a nicer approach. So. Now, one thing that I don't really understand is how this heading bug works, because it seems like it just does random values. I had it going by 10s, and then suddenly it decided it wanted to go down by 3 and then by 10. So I can't get, like, a nice round number on here anymore, and I don't know, like, what I did differently to get it to go to... See? Like, what is that? 309. We're gonna drop after we cross this uh, big island, or big island. After we cross this landmass here, we are going to drop. Actually, we can drop to 3,500 pretty comfortably, I'm sure. And cross this landmass, turn right, and drop lower over the water. And this is an uncontrolled airport, by the way. The sky's getting a little light. Nice shot there. Thumbnail. Alright. Actually, you know what? Oh, of course, the one time I don't want the screenshot, or the one time I do want the screenshot key to fire, it decides not to. Okay, whatever. I'll just have to go in and grab a still from the video. In fact, let's see if we can get the traffic on the radar. Nope, not yet. Ah, Prestwick! I recognize that airport. If you do too, then you are a longtime fan of the channel. Okay, so now we're on fives. Oh, and now we're... I just reduced it by one somehow. I have no idea how that... That heading indicator is awful. That's like my only complaint about this plane. That heading indicator sucks. <laughs> Well, the knob sucks. The indicator's fine. But the, the select knob sucks. Oh, it's already... There we go. Sorry, drink of water.
Alright, I'm going to get ready to take over from the autopilot. I get positioned a little bit better. Alright. Alright, let's hand fly this. just set a warning on here. I'm not going to use the autopilot to go down. I just want to get the the buzzer once we get close to 1500. the local time. 8.30, so a little bit behind schedule. That's because of this uh, long detour I'm taking. It's not really long, it's just trying to line up for the best approach possible. still okay. I don't think the terrain is quite as high as I thought it was. So I'm really liking this plane. Definitely a good choice, guys. With uh, from the next plane special from you know like nine months ago. <laughs> potentially some live streaming on YouTube. I don't think I want to get set up with Twitch, but uh, I wouldn't mind live streaming some, like, you know, stuff I wouldn't normally record, like uh, practice flights or, like, first looks at planes, you know, while I'm still going through manuals and stuff, but uh, I don't think I could do a certain schedule. It would just be, hey, I'm going to live stream, and I'd put out, like, an announcement on my Twitter. But yeah, if you would if you would like to see some live streams, 
let me know, because it's going to depend on your feedback if I do it or not. after this, like, ridge in front of me. Alright. Couldn't start slowing down. Are the landing lights on the wing? I don't think they are. I think they are on the wheels, but we're going to be dropping the landing gear here shortly, so... Might as well get them on. can't see it. Well, probably should not be messing with this right now. Cancel that. Well, that detour for uh, coming in for a nice approach looks like it's not going to be for anything. <laughs> Just right over the land anyway. Oh shoot, I'm flying like the runway heading. So that means I'm not getting in line with the the runway. The runway is runway one. So. I know it's in front of that, like, white mountain there. Nope, I'm climbing too much. Don't want to do that. Let's put out flaps one. And gear down. Gear.
flaps 30. Sex Steam Edition. Here is down unlocked. This is a short runway, so can't really come in high. So I'm trying to trying to drop. Oh, beautiful. Whew. All right. Welcome to Scotland, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Whew. And let's get parked up, and we'll get our paperwork sorted, and our... Uh, passengers offloaded. This is me trying not to accelerate too much and just slam into the terminal building and, you know, kill all of our passengers at the last minute. Oh, that's kind of glitching out. I wonder why. Come on. There we go. Whoa, those cars are flying. <laughs> oh, come on. Freaking ground friction in FSX is way too much. Oh, and of course. There we go. Okay. Hit the parking brake. And we'll kill the engines. And we will get our people offloaded. Kill the light so we don't kill our battery. Turn off the avionics and the generators. I guess we should leave the floodlights on until uh, everyone gets off. Oh, yeah, everyone's off. <laughs> Good timing. And for the batteries. Oh, I never turned off Gen 2 or Gen 1. Oh, Gen 1 doesn't want to go off. 
There we go. Now it's off. Let me uh, turn off my track IR real quick. There we go. And let's do our paperwork. Exceptional flight, 100%. Oh, yeah. Kiss. Nice. All right. $23,550 for that flight. Reputation is now 68. We got a perfect flight. 230 points, though we don't really care about pilot points anymore. We just care about reputation and money. So... I will record that flight. Excellent. All right, guys. Um, thank you very much for joining me on this flight from uh, Carnarfon to Oben, I think. All right, well, let's just say Wales to Scotland, because I can say those words. But, uh, yeah, leave a comment where you think we should go next. Remember, this uh, Pilatus PC-12 is not a 737, so we probably shouldn't take it like too too far like i don't think we should take it i mean it probably could get to barcelona but i don't think i could sit here that long to be honest so let's try to keep it you know on the western coast of europe maybe uh you know ireland or the uk whatever you guys want to see oh I, I think i got a request for manchester if you guys want to see manchester we can uh, head there next though that is quite a you know kind of a bigger airport than this but yeah um i think i've run out of stuff to say just remember to tell me what what your opinions are about the uh streaming option and also it, let, let's start talking about the next plane do we want it to be like a twin engine turboprop do we want it to be like a regional liner do we want it to be a business jet and when i say regional liner i mean a turboprop regional liner um I don't want to jump up to jets just yet. Or maybe you have a classic piston airplane you want to see flown. Um, I do have the A2A Boeing 377, though I need to learn how to use that. Maybe we can stream me learning how to use the A2A Boeing 377. I'm sure that would be entertaining with lots and lots of fires and exploded engines and stuff. But until then, guys, I've been a Shadowbox. This has been FSX Steam Edition with FS Passengers and Carinado's uh, PC-12. Hope you guys enjoyed the flight, and until next time, have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, we certainly hope you enjoyed flying Shadow Transit, and we hope to see you soon.